and right inside the output coil. It's positioned a little differently. Instead of under inside the uh, the uh, the uh, power coil, like like before. I got. Did you see that 38 show up? This is a voltage on a run battery. It was 34, 35, and running steady there. Now it's like a 37, 38. Okay, let's look again. It's and it's 433. 3738. I'm going to shut it off. We'll come back in a few minutes see what happens. I want to see if I can get a shot of this. I don't know. I might have to go through here. But I want, I want to see if I can highlight that ball in the back. Can you see that? You see it way back in there? That ball? Way back in there? Anyways, it's, it's back inside the output coil. And it's doing very well right now. Back in there. As you can see, it's uh, th 38 is showing. It's 436. The voltage has been climbing steadily, uh, but slowly, slowly but surely. In this position, look back to the run battery. I'll get back to it some more. Let it run some more. But this is this is the position it's in, and it, it, it's inside that. Uh, the PVC coupling. This was a suggestion from Twin Beard, which has reduced the friction. Practically nothing. You can't. You can barely hear it running in there. It's a pretty sweet setup right now. Tell you what, 3738. Of course, here's my daft man circuit board and clips and leads. Too bad. Here with the one inch Neo times 237. Here's a look at the charge. 1074, pretty steady. 73. 1135. 237. A one inch knot, a one inch uh, sphere, a spiral knot. So let's take a look, see what happens. Okay, here's another run with the uh, with the one inch. This time I got it around the other side. See if this makes any difference. Try to increase transistor base resistance. That didn't seem to help. Okay, I got the uh, one inch sphere inside that uh, PVC coupling, like Twinbeard Twin Beard suggested. 
and you can hardly hear it. There's no vibration. Here's 